Hi, so we are now going to talk about MIDI OSC routing. To have access to our MIDI OSC routing application, you open it from the KABS window. The window will pop up and it is divided into three sections, the MIDI input, MIDI output, and OSC output. In the MIDI input section, you have access to um, as many as A through Z MIDI inputs and you also have the simulator there which there already is an instructional video on how to use it. Let's start by turning on one of these lines. We will select A. I um, will select the device that I'm using, the MIDI device, which in this case is the Behringer BCF 2000. I will stay with channel 1 and you have three options as parameters, note, controller, or program change. I will use a controller number 21 so that when I move this fader up and down I can see the value changing and it corresponds to my moving the fader up and down. So how do you use this? These inputs, these MIDI inputs, show up as modulation sources in all of the different modulation windows. Um, so let's open the modulation window from K-Tone. Here as a bow source I can select MIDI A. Make sure that I turn it on and now I can see that if I move the fader up or down, the value is coming in. I can see that in MIDI in, but I can also see it in the modulation window as raw value. This I can assign it to any parameter from K-Tone. And in other modulation windows, I can assign these sources, these MIDI inputs, uh, to different parameter destinations depending on the application it corresponds to. Uh, here, like everywhere else, uh, you can save these presets and it would be the same way. You would click on the save button and we have zero is off, none as one, and I can save this one as test MIDI and assign it to preset number two, which is unnamed, it's an available slot, and save it. And there it is. Um, I can recall it when I start K apps every time and it will have saved this information. I can also assign the sensor bows to output MIDI um, and by doing this I can um, not only modulate parameters inside K apps but I can also communicate to other applications that receive MIDI data and control them this way. Um, so for this one, I will select grip and uh, I'm going to stick to channel one and I'm going to choose controller 22. Again, I select the MIDI device that I want this going out to and you can see that if I press down on the grip, the fader goes up and down. And you can see also the values going up and down in the MIDI output section of the MIDI OSC routing window. For OSC, when you turn OSC dump on, then you can monitor the OSC data coming in through our OSC monitor, which lives in the utilities folder that comes inside the cable folder. And here we have all the OSC data from the bow. We have grip, accelerometers, hair length, and the rest. You can also assign them individually out here. 
and that is all for video security. And you can save um, these sub presets um, as a main MIDI OSC routing preset as well. So I can have this test MIDI, I can save an out MIDI output preset as well as an OSC output preset and have all of those be globally saved as a MIDI OSC routing preset over here. And that is it for MIDI OSC routing.